Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, everyone, and you're all very welcome to St. Faulkner's Church, Ross Carberry County, Cork, on the Feast of the Most Holy Trinity. We come to celebrate with great joy this today, because today we worship God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Redeemer and Sustainer. We have reasons to celebrate because we too are invited in to be part of God's family. We are reminded ourselves now of our own failings. We ask the Lord for pardon of our strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone, O Holy One, you alone at the Lord, you alone at the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth, the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. First reading, a reading from the book of Exodus. With the two tablets of stone in his hands, Moses went up the mountain of Sinai in the early morning, as the Lord had commanded him. And the Lord descended in the form of a cloud, and Moses stood with him there. He called on the name of the Lord. The Lord passed before him and proclaimed, Lord, Lord, a God of tenderness and compassion, slow to anger, rich in kindness and faithfulness. And Moses bowed down to the ground at once and worshipped. If I have indeed won your favour, Lord, he said, let my Lord come with us, I beg. True, they are a headstrong people, but forgive us our faults and our sins and adopt us as your heritage. The word of the Lord. God fills me with joy. Joyful. 
our reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers, we wish you happiness. Try to grow perfect. Help one another. Be united. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with the holy kiss. All the saints send you greetings. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. The word of the Lord. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to thee, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, God loved the world so much that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not be lost but may have eternal life. For God sent his son into the world not to condemn the world but that through him the world might be saved. No one who believes in him will be condemned, but whoever refuses to believe is a condemned already, because he has refused to believe in the name of God's only Son. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God sent his Son so that through him the world might be saved. My dear friends, there's a famous musical called My Fair Lady, and one of the characters of that musical is Eliza Doolittle and she was a girl that was being trained to speak properly properly with uh, her, for, with the people sorry I must start that again yeah, yeah. Um, but God sent his son so that through him the world might be saved my dear friends there is a famous musical called my fair lady and one of the characters in that musical is Eliza Doolittle. And she was a character that was being trained to speak properly. properly. And then, for after many... Oh God, one second, sir, one second, again. God sent his son so that through him the world might be saved. My dear friends, there is a famous musical called My Fair Lady. And one of the characters in that musical is Eliza Doolittle. And she was being trained to speak properly. And she had got many, many lessons of, from, of elocution from her teachers. But she became very frustrated. And one of her, before one of her lessons, she made an outburst. And she said, words, words, words. What are the words for? I'd rather one little bit of love than rather all the word, words in the world. I don't want anybody to speak to me. I don't want anybody to sing hymns to me. I just want people to love me. And this morning, we are a little bit frustrated as well because we are trying to explain a mystery, the Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. I know we can speak about ice and water and steam, all the same components, and yet we're not happy to explain fully. We may explain the shamrock, the three leaves of the shamrock, in explaining the Trinity, but we are still not fully satisfied about how to explain what the Trinity is. But the Trinity is really about God and about God's love for the whole world. And he, we hear that he has sent his son into the world so that all of us could be saved. He's asked, we are part of a community, God's community. Through the sacrament of baptism, we become part members of God's family. God's showing love to us and we showing love to the world. Today, we are being asked to show that love to one another. And this is a great challenge for us all. The Trinity is a community belief in the God that we spoke about. This is the God that came into the world to save us, 
This is, this is the Lord that is with us on our journey through our lives. We are part of a bigger community, a Christian community, where we come to love and be loved. We ask the Lord to give us that love to one another so that we may grow in friendship and in kindness with one another. Let's stand now for our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in the one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begot not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in the one holy Catholic apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We now pray the prayers of the faithful, the prayers of the community. Let us bring our prayers now to God the Almighty, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, knowing that God knows and understands all the concerns of our hearts. Let us pray for the Church that our lives may so reflect the love and the grace of God that all people may know they are welcome. Lord, hear us. We pray for the world that divided nations and communities may be fine the peace that comes from justice and mercy. Lord, hear us. We pray for those who feel weary or defeated, that they may know that renewing strength of God. Lord, hear us. Let us give thanks for all who have gone ahead of us into the glory of whose wisdom, love, and kindness we miss. May we, with them, find ourselves welcome into the heaven of, kingdom of heaven. Lord, hear us. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, hear and receive the prayers we bring today for the sake of your great love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Today, you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we share in the divinity of Christ, who help us to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquities, cleanse me from my sins. 
We pray that our bread and wine today will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord receive the sacrifice from our hands to the praise and glory of his name for our benefit and the benefit of the whole church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord, our God, this oblation of our service, and by made for of us the eternal offering to you, we ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for which your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of one single person, but in the trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adorned in one proper to each person, their unity in substance, their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too, and scepterim, who never cease to cry out each day, as one would voice, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of the me. Let us now proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come in glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, bringing to the fullness of charity, together with Francis the Pope, Fintan the Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. And through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we now say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all the distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your lives, 
Christ's life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us now look into our own hearts and minds to find peace with ourselves, with our families, with our neighbours, and most of all, with our God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. I didn't think live the body and blood to be shared in the limits of Christ to help us to share in our humanity. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you. Say but the word, my soul shall be healed. Upon Christ, bring us to everlasting Christ. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Since you are children of God, God has sent into the heart the spirit of his Son, the spirit who cries out at the Father. We pray, may receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of mind and son, as we confess your Trinity, Holy Trinity, and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, go now in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Amen.